Hello guys and girls, in this video we're gonna take a look at how to work with text input from a user in React Native. Uh, we're gonna take a look at how to handle text input and button input and how to keep the states of these components and use them correctly. Also don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more uh, tutorials like this. So let's get started. Go ahead and create a new blank React Native project. If you don't know how to set up React Native and create a blank project, I'm going to leave the link in the description to a video where you can learn that. All right. When you have created a new project, go ahead and change the class. Uh, sorry, the function declaration to a class based component. Should change the function declaration to export default class app extends react component. Uh, we're gonna use uh, state and a constructor and stuff which we want to use a class based component for. So change that to a class based component. You can keep uh, the style sheet as it is. All right, so once you've done that, we can go ahead and import a text input which we're gonna use to save some text in the state of the component uh, that the user types in the application. Uh, this text input can be responsible for, for example, a login application where you want to save the username or, uh, uh, or let, the, let the user type the username, let the user type the password or something like that. All right. We can also go ahead and remove this text. And everything that we're going to add here is going to be within this view all right so we're gonna start by creating this text input see how we can keep the state and get the value yeah, from the text input and how to handle it correctly and then we're gonna create a simple button by using something called uh, touchable opacity <coughs> all right so let's create a text input component here close it up so the text input component takes a property called onChangeText, which is responsible for handling text change inside the input. So here we're going to add a function. Let's do it like this. We're going to pass a text. So this is the actual text that's written inside, currently written inside the text input. Then an arrow function. And let's create a method here. We can just call it on change text and pass the actual text to this method. Now I'm using an arrow function here. This is an ES6 arrow function and also the this keyword. I'm doing this to not lose context of this. This refers to the class instance we're in. All right. This is a class based component. A class in JavaScript, as you know, is just a collection of methods and properties. Uh, and we're going to keep the methods in this class. So we want to then use the, this keyword to uh, end arrow function to not lose context of the class we're in. Because if we do, we can't access the values inside the class, right? So let's go up here and create a constructor. Uh, passing props. And we're going to say super props to access the props from the parent and let's create a state here we can just say text it's a string and leave it empty from the beginning so this string is going to be responsible for holding the value of the actual text input all right let's also go ahead and create this method on change text passing the text and right here let's just say this set state and text L let's set the the text to the actual value we're getting from the text input, right? Now to show you how this works, let's do a console.log below here. Uh, we're gonna console log the text we're getting from here, all right? Let's also go ahead and add a placeholder for this. Uh, enter text here. So now if we write something in the application right now and open up the command prompt. So let's type hello. As you can see now in the command prompt, we're actually getting the values right here uh, from the current value of the text, which is also kept in the state. 
So now we know that this exact value is kept in the state, right? Of the component, which means that, for example, if this was a username or password or something for a login form, for example, we would have this value uh, accessible in the component. So when the user presses a button, for example, we can then pass this to a backend API or something like that, right? So let's go ahead and add a button here. Uh, we can remove this console.log. Uh, import touchable opacity. And down here, let's create a touchable opacity below the text input. It takes a prop called on press. Uh, can set it to null for now. Um, let's also add a text inside here and say press me. Like that. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, shut that down. Oh, sorry, I closed that off. Incorrect. So, like that. Uh, let's go ahead and add a style here as well. Uh, let's say margin top 20. Yeah, so it's not so close to the actual text input. So, like that. Uh, so, I'm having, I'm having a bit of trouble writing correctly because my microphone is uh, in the center of the keyboard. So, I can't see. Uh, my screen very good anyway so now we got this button here uh, which take this on press method so when we're pressing this let's just create a new error function and let's just alert this dot state dot text so the value from here all right so this is how we would access this value from for example an on press uh, on a button so if we open up the app, app now and type hello then hit press me. You can see we're getting the value uh, saved from up here, right? So we're getting the value that is saved inside the state, inside our component. And this is how you work with all uh, uh, inputs, basically. They have different props named for the props, but the principles are always the same. Uh, you keep the value inside. Uh, inside the state of the component. Now what you can also do for text input is add something called value. Now this makes this component a control component. It's called a com control component since we are uh, setting the value ourselves. Uh, so let's set the value to this dot state of text. So now the value inside the text input will always reflect what, what's in the state, right? So as you can see, it's it looks the same like it works the same, but it works in a different way since we are actually controlling uh, the value here right now, right? So yeah, that's how you work with uh, um, user input in React Native for text input and uh, buttons. So I hope you learned something. Thank you. Bye bye.